Tucson is a tourism center, but today Pima County supervisors made a move to help Tucson become a space tourism center. County leaders approved a deal to spend about $15 million on a piece of land for a Tucson company preparing to use sophisticated balloons to carry tourists to the edge of space. The company will lease the land in a deal the county administrator says should make a profit for taxpayers in the long run. Craig Smith has more on what people see as the highs and lows of the plan. Instead of a short, roaring ride on a rocket, Worldview will float tourists to the edge of space in a comfortable, pressurized gondola. They can stay up several hours, then a pilot will use a steerable parachute to bring them to Earth. The price per person is $75,000, but Worldview Enterprises says about half its business will be flying missions for NASA or the Defense Department. Some of those might be to provide communications for troops in areas where they currently don't have them, which is of course incredibly important for their safety and coordinated efforts. The company plans some projects with Raytheon. The agreement calls for the county to sell about $15 million in bonds to buy land near Raytheon. Worldview would build balloons and launch them there. Supervisors and business boosters hope Worldview would be the first of many businesses for a tech business park around Raytheon. Worldview wants to be operating from the site in about 10 months. Supervisor Allie Miller voted no after questioning the rush to push through the plan. At noon on Friday, folks, I was given the information to vote on this. And not even five days. And, uh, and it appears, I'd like to know who knew about this for nine, six to nine months. County Administrator Chuck Huckleberry says county staff worked in secrecy for competitive reasons. Tabor McCallum of Worldview says existing spaceports in Florida and New Mexico were bidding on Worldview's business. But because the company founders view Tucson as home, they were happy to bring the business here. Now, Tabor McCallum says Worldview has private investors and could have been financed by them alone, but he feels it's important for a community like Tucson to show the world it is willing to invest in businesses that look towards the future. Target date for that first tourist flight is the end of next year.